Ladies and gentlemen, the 100 yards race has been won by the sports mistress of our local high school, Miss Caroline Trevella. I lost my bathing cap. You won the race, though. That was just luck. Proud of you, Caroline. Proud of you. Congratulations, Miss Trevella. Thank you. Now that you've won the cup for the third time, you've won it outright. I know that I'm speaking for everybody here when I say... Caroline's I'm lucky right. week. Yes. Jolly good show around leaving her that old house in Cornwall. It's a pity it's in such an outlandish place, though. She's frightfully thrilled about it. Yes, well, if they don't hurry up, she'll miss her train. Uh-oh. The next train from platform three is from Penzance. Calling at Westbury, Taunton, Exeter, Newton Allen, Plymouth, Lisgar, Barton Grove, and Penzance. What a rush. Well, I hope you have a nice weekend at Smuggler's Rest. You sound as though you do. I consider it a ridiculous waste of money to be traveling first class. It's a long journey and I wanted to relax. Oh, well. Have you got sandwiches and things? I'm going to have a meal on the train. Well, now, isn't that rather extravagant? Caroline, the more we save now, the sooner we can get married. That is what you want, isn't it? Yes, Ronald. Good. Here is a newspaper for you. Thank you. It's all right. I've finished with it. I should hope so. It's yesterday's. Ooh. Goodbye. Bye. Tonight. Could I have a taxi then? No taxi neither. Well, how do I get to a house called Smuggler's Rest? Smuggler's Rest is up along about three quarters of a mile. Oh, dear. I'll carry it for you, miss. Thank you. I'll make it worth your while. Well, that's very fine of you. Hello. Uh, that's Smuggler's Rest up there. Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Well, isn't it enough? Yeah, quite enough, Miss. Miss Truella. Ah, oh, Mrs. Forster. You're very welcome, Miss, I'm sure. Oh, you got a look of the Truellas about you, bless you. <laughs> oh, good evening, Mr. Jeffrey, sir. Uh, good evening, Mrs. Forster. I've just been doing my good turn for the day. Oh, very kind of you indeed, sir. If ever you feel like a little fishing, Miss Truella, I shall be delighted. Any time. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Forster. Well, now, this is most attractive. Oh, I am glad. <laughs> Mrs. Forster, who exactly is Mr. Jeff? Mr. Jeffrey Saunders, miss. One of the richest gentlemen hereabouts. I thought he was a fisherman. Well, he does fish. It's his hobby, like. I see. You know... I haven't been here since I was a child. Well, you won't find things change much round about here. It's funny, that picture's the only thing that I can remember. Ah, now she's a young lady who enticed your great-grandfather down to the sea. What happened? Was he drowned? Well, not exactly drowned, miss, but they do say he was sunk the moment he set eyes on him. Ah, there's a lot of nonsense talked about mermaids in Cornwall. Hello, boys. First in. Oh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Mr. Jeffrey. Two more pints, Charlie. Right, sir. Well, how are things? Oh, bad, Mr. Jeffrey, bad. Last night's catch was the worst this year. I reckon there's a shark of some sort round about. Why? Oh, no fish. And the gulls won't rest on the water. Uh, they always know all right. Besides, old Rundle saw something funny out in the bay. Oh, I saw it all right. I saw it all right, Mr. Jeffrey. 
A great big shiny tail. Like nothing I've never seen before. Was it after closing time? <laughs> <laughs> now, have I seen everything? Yeah. What's here? Oh, that goes down to the old smuggler's cave, miss, but the steps are all fallen away. It isn't safe. Have you been down? No, I don't want to break my neck, thank you. Would have been bricked up years ago. Is that the sea? Yes. Makes strange noises sometimes. At night, most particular. What do you mean? Well, sort of eerie sounds, almost inhuman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gracious. If you're nervous of sleeping here alone, you're very welcome to come over to my cottage. It would take more than a few old echoes to make me nervous. <laughs> Is anybody there? Hello? But you're me, you can't be. I'm Miranda. Who are you supposed to be? I don't know. Berengaria, <laughs> oh! be quiet. Submerge. You're a Truella, by the look of you. I'm one, too. The wrong side of the blanket, of course. I was born on the ocean bed. The ocean bed? But then you're a mermaid, naturally. Look. See what I mean? But you can't be. There aren't any. Grandfather. That's right. Old Matty Truella was terribly gay. He used to take my great grandma on dry land sometimes. As a matter of fact, I've been on dry land also. How did you manage? I had a whale of a time. I met the most lovely men. Do you know any? Well, I'm engaged to one. Has he got pretty legs? I don't think I'd call them pretty. Well, then you must get another one. Do you like being a mermaid? It's rather dull at the moment. All the men are away. The mermen, of course. Yes. They've gone to a coral convention in the Caribbean. They go every year, two weeks. Would you like to come into the house and have a talk and a drink if your husbands or 
or friends are away. Wouldn't you think it's strange to have a mermaid in the sitting room? Not anymore. It seems quite natural. Rather fun to have a fish in the family. I think you're a darling. It must be lovely to be you. Caroline, would you let me be you just for two weeks? I'm so lonely. But how could you? I mean, what about your... Oh, I'd wrap it up and go as an invalid. Well, I did half promise a, a friend to go on a cycling tour. I suppose you could take my place for two weeks. But who would look after you? There's a nurse in London who looked after me last time. She understands my little ways. Nurse Carey. Oh, come in. There's a young lady to see you, nurse. Well, put it on the table, please. I said a young lady, nurse. What? A young lady to see you. Oh? What's her name? Miss Truella. Miss Truella? Miranda, love! But you're walking with grown legs. How do you do? I'm afraid I'm not Miranda. Not Miranda? But your face, your voice... Well, we're the same family tree. It's just that Miranda is the underwater branch. Incredible. As a matter of fact, I've just come from her, and she needs your help. Needs my help? She wants to come on land again. The darling creature. She shall, she shall, she shall. Hello, Mrs. Porter. I hear Miss Truella's coming back. Morning, Mr. Jeff. Morning, George. Morning, Lucy. Yes, that's right. Tomorrow afternoon. I thought I'd better give her one of these as a peace offering. Oh, what a beauty. This will cheer her up. Well, here's one for you, Mrs. Forster. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Jeff. <laughs> Poor girl's had an accident. Did you know? Yes, she fell out of them parallel bars, whatever they may be. Oh, is she badly hurt? Well, it's her legs. Won't be able to walk for some time. Well, if there's anything I can do, she'll need someone to carry her around for a bit, won't she? Yes. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Jeff, but she's bringing a trained nurse with her. Good morning. Hello, Mrs. Forster. Oh, Miss Chibwella, my poor dear. Where are my boys? Yes. Where's the porter? Porter. Oh, there you are. That's right. Just put the bags down there, will oh, you? No trouble, madam. Thank you very much. One moment, my man. Oh, it's a pleasure. There we are. Thank you very much. Thank you, madam. Oh, great cow, great cow. Those are my dear darling boys. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Well, I shan't be quite myself for uh, the next two weeks. Nurse Carey. Come in, Miss Truella. Come in. This is Mrs. Forster. Oh, Nurse Carey. You do. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah push it. Where will our sanctuary be? Well, uh, your room's in there. Uh, thank you very much. Naughty pussy, you mustn't. Well, I'll be going now. The meal's all ready, and I'll see you in the morning. I right, thank you. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Sunshine, I want it to look wonderful. If I went on shore, I should have a perm. But then I never shall. You're really much more fish than I am. I know. I've only to sit on a rock for ten minutes, and I get land sick. I only get love sick. I think men are so beautiful. Oh, men. The only one I ever trusted tried to harpoon me. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh, what a miraculous cavern. Miranda, Miranda, we're here. How blue the sea is. We've come to bed shop. So this is her home. Be careful now. No, I'm very sure of foot. Oh, thank you. I'll get her rug. Miss Miranda, Miss Miranda, here I am. No. I knew you'd come. Of course I came. Oh, you pretty thing. But... But where's the other young lady? Young lady? She's down there shrimping. Berengaria! Nurse Carey Berengaria. Oh, how do you do? How do I do what? Well, just how do you do? I like your bonnet. Do you? Well, couldn't you make one out of frilly seaweed? Would you wear a cabbage on your head? No, oh, perhaps not. Very interesting, of course, but not quite a lady. Oh, here comes Miss Caroline. Ready? We'll wrap you up and give you a bandage chair up to the house. Goodbye, Miranda. Keep your tail wet. Bye-bye, Barry. Goodbye. I'd better take a change of shoes, even if it pours, Viola cycles through. Camping with a girl. What a waste of a tent. Miranda, you must behave. Remember that you're supposed to be me and you're engaged. Now, come along, dear, come along. You've a long cycle ride ahead of you. 
Miranda, please be good. I'll be better than good. I'll be the best they've seen here for years. That's the best that you must look after. See that she doesn't get into any hot water. <laughs> well, she could hardly do that, eh? Now, don't you worry, my dear. You just look after yourself. I should be clear of the village by daylight. If only all our British girls were as brave as you. See you in two weeks' time. On, on, Britannia. Well, she's gone. The poor buttoned-up creature. Isn't it funny to think that great-grandma was in this very house? Yes, yes, yes. The dear, pretty soul. What a pity Miss Caroline's having to sell the house. Sell the house? Why? For financial reasons, dear. Besides, very soon she's going to get married. But why can't they come and live here? Uh, well, her fiancé is some sort of, a, of an engineer and he's got to work in London. What's he like? Well, look. Hardly bursting with sex appeal, is he? None at all. <laughs> Still, I dare say he's very dependable. Dependable, my tail. I'll hook a better one than that for Caroline. Nurse? Yes? Open up the wardrobe. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, my. How awful. No wonder she only caught Ronald with that for bait. Let's see what else there is. Ah, oh, here we are. Here's something a little less refined. Rather more chic. It's too hot and it wouldn't show enough of me. Now, Miss Miranda. We must buy some new ones. Yes, yes, yes. But what about the money? Oh, I've got plenty of that in the cave below. Baron Gary will give it to you tomorrow morning. Oh, good, good, good. Arise and shine. Oh. Hello, old trout. Oh, oh. Old trout yourself. I want Miss Miranda's breakfast. Well, here it is. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> I'm not a seal. And she wants me to fish up her ditty box. Catch. Pandora's box. Oh, look at this. That belonged to my great granny. Oh, poor soul. I fancy that. A little too big for you. Yeah, perhaps it is. This looks more like you. Oh, how lovely. For a grand occasion. A cat's whiskers. <laughs> Can I keep it? That, thank you. Good gracious, what are all these coins? Doubloons. Spanish doubloons. But you'll never be able to spend them. Can't we exchange them somewhere? I don't think there's a pawnbroker's or anything of that sort in this village. Well, I don't want to get my clothes in this village. Mm. We've got to go to Torquay anyway. Good, good, good. Here we are. Well, I've never been inside one of these places before. I'd like to go in alone, please. Would you, dear? I do hope they won't cheat you. Don't worry, I'm used to dealing with sharks. Yes, very well. Good morning. Good morning. What lovely curls. Are they permanent? They've been with me ever since I can remember. They must be such fun to comb. <laughs> yes. Uh, what can I do for you? Think of something nice. Oh, perhaps you've seen something you fancy in the window. Not in the window. I want to sell these. Yeah, oh, yes, of course. Old gold. Spanish. They've been in my family for years. Oh. Well, they're, they're worth quite a lot of money. Would you like ready cash, or would you care for me to arrange a credit with your bank? They'd be most surprised if you did. Oh, really? Which is your bank? The Dogger. 
the dogger. Get on, dear. We've such heaps to do. He's bought them, isn't he, sweet? Charming. Oh, it was a great pleasure. Goodbye. Goodbye. I didn't think he'd take them. He can't have seen anything like those before. He can't have seen anything like me before. Well, no, of course not. Now, clothes. <laughs> She's off. What a delicious affair. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Are you having trouble? Yes, we are. Let me help you. Thank you very much. You're very strong. It's a pleasure. I knew the late Miss Gruella. Oh, I'm always early. You never know what you'll miss if you're late. <laughs> My name is Sutton, Barclay Sutton. I should call you Barclay. Yes, please do. Oh, may I introduce my fiancée, Barbara Davenport? We're cousins, actually, distant cousins. The distance is merely relative. I was afraid you were his wife. You teach at St. Hilda's, don't you, Kensington? That's right. My uncle, Sir Felix, is one of the governors. You know him, perhaps. Very well, I'm his favorite mistress. We're going to be close neighbors. The closer the better. But the hall is half a mile from your house. Yes, you must come over and see us. Sometime. Is tomorrow soon enough? By all means, why don't you come to dinner? I'd love to, how do I get there? Well, I'll come and fetch you in my car. Oh, I love motoring. Well, you can hardly call half a mile motoring. It all depends how fast you go. If you please. Until tomorrow, then. Goodbye. Bye. She's oddly ingenuous, isn't she? I should say she was just odd. Well, we must be nice to her. She's having a very rough time. From what I can see, I should think she would like it to be even rougher. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but the most extraordinary things happen. Oh? Someone's put six Spanish doubloons in the collection. Doubloons? They're pretty rare, aren't they? Museum pieces, Colonel. Have you any idea who it could be? I can only think it must be Miss Truella. That's where we settle. Don't you love the Colonel's moustache? Yes, very handsome. He reminds me of a walrus I once knew. My late husband had a moustache, a ginger one. I used to trim it with my surgical scissors. Did you like it? Well, it was rather ticklesome. And sometimes it retained the froth from his ale. Oh, how lovely. Oh, no, it wasn't. I hope Caroline likes them, because I think the Colonel would make a rather a good match. But he evidently thinks you most fascinating. Shall we add him to our list of possibles? A very good beginning. But he's not the only pebble on the beach. Look, can you see that beautiful man over there? I should say so. I could fall for him hook, line, and sinker. Hello? Miranda, please. Good morning, Miss Truella. He knows my name. Isn't he beautiful? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry about your accident. Yes, it is trying. If I could walk, I could come down there and see what you're doing. I well, we can soon remedy that. Oh, how intrepid. Be careful, she's rather delicate. Oh, don't take her down there. Mind how you go. You might lose your foothold. Oh, don't slip on the mackerel. Yeah. Hello, old gentleman. Hello, Missy. Would you be a darling and go up there and keep my nurse company? I, I would. It's a long time since I kept company, but once you know how, you never lose the knack. How's that? Perfect. The young lady sent me up to keep your company, Nursie. Oh, she did, did she? Aye, but I came willing, all right. Oh. Do you mind if I sit down? Well, you seem to have sat down, don't you? I love your legs. What's your name? But you know, Jeff Saunders. 
I like you, Jeff. Does me point more to you? Well, no, I like the smell of good tobacco. Mm. Oh. <coughs> Well, I don't know. Uh, perhaps you'd hold that cane for me, would you? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Well. There we are. By the way, who's that young fisherman down there? He's no fisherman. He's a gentleman. What? And very rich, they say. Oh, well, that's splendid. Is he married? No, I reckon he's two ways. I don't know what you mean by that. Well, he'd rather make several ladies happy than one miserable. Oh, yes, I see you will. I suppose that's rather level-headed. <laughs> I, I, I'm glad you like me tobacco. Yes, <coughs> I don't like it all that much. In fact, it's not a brand I choose to smoke myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel wonderful. You're different somehow. Different? From the last time we met. Oh, yes. Do we know one another very well? well hardly. Very well. Don't you think it's about time we got to know one another better? Yeah. Another little stick bit, Rupert, my love. Morning, Miss. Morning. Hmm. Thank you. There. Now, how are your legs this morning? I can't feel them at all. Good morning, Miss. Lovely morning. Yes, indeed. My boys are glad to be alive. Oh, yes. I yes. put your breakfast in the dining room. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Foster. I'll be out in a minute or two. Sausages and coffee. Salt water and shrimps. Lovely. Thank you, <laughs> Two lunches, two dinners, two breakers. Very bad for my figure. Yes? Yes? All right, I'll hold on. Uh, operator, this is ridiculous. I've been waiting 17 minutes for a call to Cornwall. Good. Oh, all right, keep the wool on. Yes? Yeah? Hello, is that Smuggler's Rest? Baker, yeah? Must be Miss Caroline's fiance from London. That'll be Ronald. I'll take it. Hello, Ronnie. Ronnie? Now, Caroline, you know how I detest abbreviations. I've only got three minutes. Time is money, you know. How are your legs? Fine. Huh? Well, well, I still think a nurse was quite unnecessary. Oh, I see. Well, now, I really rang up to give you some good news. I am coming down to Cornwall for a day or two. Oh, you are? When are you arriving? 9.49 this evening. This evening? I just can't wait. This evening, you're dining at the hall with the moustache. That's why I can't wait. <laughs> if you're not back before Ronald arrives, what shall I say? Just tell him I'm dining out. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, look here. If they should ask you about your accident, you won't forget to tell them that you fell between parallel bars. That's right, bars, bars. I can't think what you're going to do about the food. Get rid of it. But where, dear, where? In my sponge bag. Oh, yes, of course. How clever. That'll be the moustache. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, good evening, Colonel. Good evening. She's all ready for you. Oh. Hello. Well, 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 well. You look very cool and calm. And waiting to be collected. Up you come. You smell delicious. Oh. My nurse, my love, take this with you. Thank you. Look after her, Colonel. 
the dear naughty thing. It was sweet of you to fetch me yourself. Well, we can't have every Tom, Dick and Harry man handling you, can we? Well, not all at the same time. I say, Miss Trevellan. Call me M Caroline. Caroline. When you say Caroline, your moustache gives a lovely twitch. Twitch it again. Caroline. Nurse Carey says it'll tickle, will it? Goodbye. Have a fine frolic. Miss Berengaria. Miss Berengaria, are you anywhere about? Hello, Nursey. Oh, there you are. Oh, I was having a snooze. What, under the water? Oh, my gills still work. Oh, of course. I brought my sewing down. I thought you might be lonely. What are you making? I'm embroidering a boudoir cap and a nightie. Whoever for? For myself. Oh, show me. All right, I'll try them on. Must do it properly. It took me simply months to embroider this. I must have the bows. Oh. <laughs> Is it funny? Now, how's that? I want it. Ah, not it. No, no. Touch. If I had legs, I'd wear pajamas. Oh, yes. Well, I do on alternate weeks. May I have some more? I'm terribly thirsty. Delicious. Do you find that champagne rather dry? No, it's lovely and wet, thank you. Barclay was saying, you don't look in the least like a schoolmistress. Oh. Why? Rather too charming. Thank you. Mm. What, uh, what subjects do you take? Games. Fun and games? There's plenty of fun out of school. It's certainly fun having you so near us. Bartley simply pines for female company. He's so easily attracted. I suppose he must be. But his enthusiasm never lasts for love. How trying for you. But never mind. We always say where I come from, that as many good men on dry land as ever fell in the sea. Hmm. Yes, I guess there's a great deal of truth in that. I suppose you swim well. Like a fish, why? Barbara's very good in the sea. I'm not particularly good in the sea. Oh, very extraordinary. Most extraordinary. Oh, will you have some more chicken? Uh, no, thank you. I haven't quite got my appetite back yet. Most unfortunate about your accident. It has its compensations. How did it happen? I was going from one bar to another and I fell down. I, uh, I see you're engaged. Yes, but I don't mind breaking it off. Oh, really? Why? I find my fiancé rather repulsive. Brandy, madam? Oh, thank you. I'll help myself. Miss Trewella drinks like a fish. Really? Half a pint of Napoleon brandy gone in one gulp. She must have a strong head. Well, she has a full stomach. But she hasn't. Look.
weak ones or strong, right men or wrong, I don't mind. Here in my arms, they all have charms. I'm so fond of men, can't resist men. I love them all. That was quite charming. Yes, wasn't it? Where were you trained? The Canary Islands. I studied singing once, but I got so lazy about my scales. Oh, really? I've never had any trouble with my scales. Barbara, why don't you ask her to come and sing at your concert next week? What concert? Oh, a charity affair I'm organizing over at the theater in Pen Regis. In the theater? I'd love to. Well, I'm afraid we've got rather a full program. Some other time. Shall I sing to you? Oh, no, thank you. Has Miranda said anything against my voice? No, 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 no. Well, she said you played a conch shell very nicely. I sing much better. Do you? My high notes are so high that only a dogfish can hear them. Oh, well, wouldn't it be a pity to waste them on me? Of course, Miranda has never really forgiven me for scaring away a very handsome lifeguard. Oh? How did you do that? By singing. It was last year. There I was. I was sitting on the needle. Oh, that, that was the trouble, dear. Ten to one, that's Miss Caroline's fiancé. No one to answer the door. I'll be as quiet as I can. And I'll be right down back here as soon as I've settled in. Bye-bye. What a hullabaloo. Patience, patience. Oh, Mr. Baker? Yes. Do come in. I'm afraid Miss Truella is out. Oh, but she's expecting me. Will she be long? Well, I really don't know. She's dining at the hall. She can walk again, I see. Oh, no, no, no. The young gentleman carried her. I don't care for that at all. She seemed to enjoy it. Goodbye, Barbara. Thank you for a lovely evening. Your playing was perfect. Oh, thank you. I do so like a musical background. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. I think you left this in the dining room. Ah, my toothbrush. I never go anywhere without it. It's a habit that I picked up from my great-grandfather, old Matthew Truella. He always used to say, where I dines, I sleeps. He was a very determined man. Goodbye, Barbara. Goodbye. Signs? Yes, madam. Was that a sponge bag? Yes, madam. What was in it? Miss Truella's dinner, madam. Her dinner? Yes. Wonderful. That's it, Caroline. Now, 
Where will you kiss me? It doesn't tickle at all. <laughs> Caroline, your breath is like ozone. What's ozone? A condensed form of oxygen emitting a pungent odour. Ah, Barclay. This is my fiancé, Ronald. How do you do? Not at all well, thank you. I didn't know you were in Cornwall. So it seems. Well, I expect you'd like to take over. Yes. Right? Right. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. And what do you mean by allowing that man to kiss you? He's a very beautiful man, and I liked it. I don't think there's nearly enough kissing goes on. Don't you want to kiss me? Well, I, I can't kiss you just like that. Have you got another way? Caroline, what's come over you? You've never been like this before. We did waste time, didn't we? You know, you could be quite attractive. Let's take your glasses off. Perhaps not. But, but you've always seemed so, so sensible and level-headed and... Dull. I don't want a wife who sparkles. Just look at that dress. It's lovely, isn't it? It's far too revealing. I'd be ashamed to wear it. I doubt if it would suit you. And all those pearls? If you go on spending at this rate, you'll be on the rocks in a fortnight. I know. Well, she's either a roaring drunk or a raving lunatic. Well, she's just full of spirits. Overflowing. She tossed a neat half pint of brandy into the flower pot. <laughs> I meant high spirits, Barbara. Anyway, I've done the same sort of thing myself. At the regimental dinner last... Yes, dear, we know. Did you put the regimental dinner into a sponge bag? Dinner? Or go to church and put doubloons into the collection? Well, I... I can't help feeling sorry for her. Oh. Well, you haven't met her fiancé. I have. Wears glasses. Comes from Beckenham. Well, I'm glad he's turned up. It'll keep you out of trouble. Everyone mm. knows she hasn't a penny. Old Miss Tuella left practically nothing except the house. Well, you don't think she's after my money, do you? Oh, I don't see what else. Well, I'm bound to tell you, Barbara, there might be something else. Oh? oh. What? <laughs> my moustache. Now, business. I came down here to uh, sell the house. Not to see me. Might as well be frank about it. No time for slop. Quite a nice little place, really, but give me a modern maisonette any day. It's been in my family for generations. Well, then, the sooner it isn't, the better. What have you done about selling it? Nothing. Well, then, tomorrow morning, you and I go to the house agents together. Tomorrow morning, I am going fishing. It must be wonderful being a fisherman's wife. Oh, you can have too much of a good thing. I don't believe it. This is a new line I've got. Is it? It's most effective. Where do you live, Jeff? Over at Penn Regis. Oh, that's where Barbara Davenport's giving a concert. Yes. What we suffer for charity. I'd love to be in it. Hey, you've got a bite. It must be enormous. Doesn't your fiancé mind you being out here with me? He's furious. Aren't you in love with him? No, I'm not. Then what about... He was forced on to me. Oh, you poor darling. Jeff, you're so understanding. Oh! <laughs> Only an old girl. Excuse me. Good morning, sir. Lovely morning. Uh, yes. Um, where could I find a fisherman named Jeff Saunders? Oh, he went out some time ago. That's his boat over there, look. Oh, yes. 
I wonder if I might look through your telescope. Oh, I don't suppose Mr. Saunders would mind. Unusual recipe. I hope it's to your liking. Well, that's lovely. Thank you. What on earth is it? Mussel soup. Oh, very little for me. Good. But it's cold. That's the way I like it. And raw fish. I saw you this morning in the boat with that man. We didn't fish for long. He wanted to kiss me. And you let him? I had to encourage him slightly. Whilst you were out this morning, I put the house in the hands of the agents. The sooner I get you back to Beckenham, the better it will be. Nothing would induce me to leave the coast. And what about my career in a hole like this? Your career is what? Sanitary officer, of course. Sanitary officer? So you're one of those people that think it's a good idea to dump all sorts of horrid things into the sea. And what better place is there for refuge? I've always wanted to meet one of you. Yes. For once, I'm ashamed of you. Well, it may have been ill-mannered, but it got rid of him. Yes, but the poor damn boy... He'll be dry by the time he gets to London. Well, that's all very well, but... He should have brought another suit. Well, we haven't all got two of everything. Think of my one lovely nightie floating out there all alone in the bay. Hello. Barclay? It's me. Ronald's gone back to London. I've broken off my engagement. What? Oh, capital. That's really quite something, isn't it? Very encouraging all round. Look, uh, shall I canter over to see you this afternoon? Oh, yes. Then I can ride with you. I'll tell you what. I'll gallop. <laughs> Here's the colonel arriving. This is where I go and feed my birds. Good evening, Colonel. Good evening. Hello. Hello. I'm, uh, I'm awfully sorry. I'm afraid I got rather carried away last night. Don't apologize. It was your turn to be carried. Has your fiancé gone for good? Yes. And are you staying for good? I'm staying, Barclay. I've, uh, I bought you a present. How sweet of you. What is it? Something rather personal. They say a girl can't have too many. That's right, Barclay. A girl can't. I just thought that's what Caroline would like. Yes, Barclay. Caroline would. Good afternoon, ma'am. <laughs> You've swum a good way out, ma'am. You're not in trouble, I suppose. Oh, in trouble, you naughty old man. Oh, I didn't mean anything disrespectful, lady. I'm no lady. Now, look, ma'am, the currents are very strong around here. Mind you're not carried out to sea. Would you like me to sing to you? Sing to me? I know, thank you, ma'am. I've got a voice like a siren. I reckon you might have it that. No, ma'am, that'd upset the mackerel, that would. After all, there's a time and place for all things. What's that you're doing? Oh, if that's the way you're feeling, you better come aboard. Ah! Ah! 
I've always wanted to ride a horse. Can't we go any faster? Faster? No, an invalid, remember. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Darling Barclay, I shall hate to leave Cornwall. Must you? My lovely house is up for sale already. Oh, Caroline. Never mind. I've got such sweet memories. Caroline, stay. How can I? As my wife. Could I keep my house? Well, yes, of course. Lovely. May I think it over? Don't keep me in suspense. Ask me again, Saturday week. I feel in stamping good form, do you? Yes, stamping. Good. Now, with any luck, we should reach Cheddar tomorrow and Glastonbury the next day. Good. Baker here. Hello, Ronald. If you have rung up to apologize, you're wasting your time. Apologize for what? You know perfectly well. But I don't. I don't know what you mean. Your deportment whilst I was down in Cornwall. Down in Cornwall? Making love to strange men right under my nose. Throwing a tureen of soup over me. I smell revolting and my suit is ruined. Well, I must say it does sound rather awful. I don't know what I could have been thinking of. Are you very scolded? You know perfectly well the concoction was freezing cold. Oh, it was. Oh, yes, of course it was. And I request the return of my diamond immediately. Certainly. By registered post. Finished already? Yes, completely. Has Miss Berengaria always uh, pinched things, dear? Yes, and she's getting worse. Teptomania, caused by depression, I should say. Have you nearly finished that, darling? Nearly. Oh, that'll be Mr. Saunders. There we are. Put it away and curl up your tail, love. Good evening, nurse. Oh, good evening, Mr. Saunders. What for me? Oh, how charming of you. Thank you, Ben. Go in, will you? You'll find her all agog. Hello. Hello. I brought you a present. Not a pair of shoes. Shoes? No, a pair of lobsters. Oh, thank you. I've come to say that I shan't be going out fishing tomorrow morning. Why not? I'm going out with the regular fishing fleet tonight. They've been having rather a lean time, and I hoped I might change their luck. If you cast your nets near the Dirdle Rocks, you will change their luck. But everyone knows that's a rotten fishing drive. Promise me you'll fish there tonight. All right. But where do you get your inside information? I'm Cornish. Perhaps I've got second sight. I wish I didn't feel that I double-crossed those mackerel. Hello, Miss Barbara. Why are the bells ringing? Oh, great news, great news. There's been a record catch down by Dirtle Rocks. Never saw so many fish in my life. And all thanks to that Miss Truella. She showed us where to cast the nets. A proper fish diviner she's turned out to be. Oh, really? That's very interesting. Reckon that Truella's always had a way with fish. Old Marty Truella had, anyway. You don't really believe such things, do you? I don't know, but... Uh... My old father used to tell me of a very strange catch in the cave under smuggler's rest. Oh. Did he?
had stolen her clothes while she was swimming. I wonder who that could have been. Jeff, do you know where she was swimming? It's somewhere down here, I think. What was the time? About an hour ago. She didn't say anything about me, did she? No. Except that she wanted to ask you to sing at her concert. Oh. Will you be there? Not unless you promise to sing. Darling, Jim. I shall hate to leave Cornwall. Oh, don't. Stay. How can I? As my wife. Could I keep my house? Why not? We could live here. How lovely. Will you ask me again next Saturday? I changed my mind about asking Caroline to sing. Oh, that's very nice of you, Barbara. Yes. I think I'm going to enjoy launching her. You must admit she's got something. Oh, yes. Something no one else has got. Oh, Caroline, um, about my concert over at Penridge's. I was wondering if perhaps you'd like to sing after all. I'd love to if you really want me to. I suppose there's no hope of you being on your feet by then. None at all. Lovely. Will the people from the newspapers be there? Oh, yes. The press will be there. I think I can promise you quite a splash. I must have the most lovely dress. Yes, yes, yes. And extra long, since you have to sit on the piano. And Barry must be there to hear me. Berengaria at the Pier Theatre. Underneath the pier. You can hear very well. Can you? Yes, there's a sort of soft, seaweedy slab. We go there very often. Yes, yes. Of course, of course. What are you going to sing? I don't know. Have you got any ideas? I always used to fall back on the mother's song from the Merry Matador. I don't know whether it's quite your style. It's a song with action. Do it for me. Goodness me. Yes, for you I will. I'll have a try. I must have a mandolin. A mandolin. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'm Maria the Matador's mother. Olé, olé, hey, hey. There's nobody keener in all the arena to keep him out of the dirt. She really has a fish's tail. Oh, yes. It's quite beautiful. Rather like a whiting. You're sure someone isn't trying to play a trick on you? Oh, of course not. I've seen it myself. Mm, tail like a whiting, eh? Huh? Tell you what, I'll come down myself tomorrow night. Good. What time? About 7.30. Mm -hmm. You'll bring a photographer, of course. Yes, of course. Tell me, what other personalities will be there? Well, first of all, I'm getting on to Dr. Fergus. He's a member of the Zoological Society. The mating cry of the chimpanzee differs from that of the... Uh, no, uh, no, order that. The 
the love cry of the larger ape. The... Yes? The lo... Tranquil for you, Doctor. Huh? Hello? <laughs> Barbara Davenport. How are you, my dear? A discovery. How interesting. Oh, what did you say? A what? Are you sure it's not a scene? Catch her. We must catch her at all costs. Uh, on land? Masquerading as a woman? Yes, of course I'll come down. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, beautiful face, yes. Oh, never mind the face. What about her piscatorial extremity? You've got a namesake down in Pandora. Oh, really? Yes, another Catalan Chihuahua. What's she been doing? Well, she hasn't done it yet. What do you mean? Well, it says here, Miss Caroline Chihuahua Pendower will make her debut as a singer at the Penn Regis Pier Theatre tonight. Miss Barbara Davenport, the organizer, says, Miss Chihuahua is to be my surprise item. Surprise item? <laughs> Signor Madalini. Miss Davenport, who is this Carolina Trevella? She comes from Pendau. An amateur? Yes, but a very exceptional one. But I am exclusive. I do not share a cage with the Cornish Shh, Nightingale. Cantare una canzone dopo un caro. Oh, a greater prima donna, eh? The name of Madalini has been used as bait, a spread to catch a mackerel. No, hmm. There you are, my love. Ready for the great moment. Thank you. Oh, one last little finishing touch. Which flowers will you wear? Roses from the moustache? Or Mr. Jeff's orchids? Mr. Jeff. I'd be tempted if they didn't clash. She'll get away. Oh, impossible. There are policemen posted all around the pier. And Marco and Zampa, the sea trainers, are on guard outside her dressing room. <laughs> and used to dealing with slippery customers, eh? <laughs> their mobile tank is at the stage door, ready to transport her to London. Sensation. Are Marco and Zampers performing seals in your show? Performing seals? What do you mean? They're in a tank at the stage door. If I'm not mistaken, Marco and Zampa are in the corridor now. Oh, nonsense. They're not in my show. I thought they were. Particularly when I saw old Fergus out front. Uh, I, I think... Who is old Fergus? A professor of the Zoological Society. Mad about aquatic mammals. Jeff, you must go out front. I don't want you to miss a second of this. But can't I carry her? No. Barclay will do that. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck, dearest Caroline. She knows. She knows what I am. I'm in a trap. No, never. Let me have a look, see. Hurry, hurry. We're imprisoned. Try the corridor. What am I going to do? They shan't get you. They shan't. Caroline! Love 
mama true? Is a mama true? Is a mama true? My love fishes all day through. Fishes all day through. Fishes all day through. My love is so young, young and so young and healthy. I told her she was still we are wedded here. The world is good and good. The end. The end. The end. The end. The end. Good evening. Well, hello, Barclay. How very nice to see you again. I've come to whisk you off your feet. Whatever for? <laughs> Nervous? Yes, a little. I, I've never been on a public stage before. You'll be all right. The audience will adore you. This way, Colonel. Out. See you one day soon. Squeak. Maybe they found me out. They'll be after you in speedboats. No, they won't. Caroline's up there. She's taken over from me. Can she sing? Not a note. <laughs> See no man to leave. We'll now play for us the celebrated cello solo entitled La Violette, The Violet. See Norman Tallinn. <laughs> Thank you. 
in love with one of them, then we'd keep the house in the family. I do so hope it could be Jeff. You should worry. You'll be back in our nice semi-detached cave any day now. It's so cold-blooded, Barry. It's just that I know which side my eel will for jelly, that's all. you break out our way, Bill? Can't say, Tom. Never handled one of these mermaid jobs before. What's that? A blinking seal. I saw his whiskers. Good evening, Sergeant. Are you busy? <laughs> here, Bill. She's here. In her act. What's that? A mermaid. Good night. It was a seal, I told you. Good evening, Inspector. Come in for a stroll. <laughs> Go away! Go away! Leave me alone, Miss Abbey Bell. It's bad. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Good luck. Thank you. I think policemen are wonderful. <laughs> Mine, wouldn't you? Yes. 
Yet if truth were to tell, I'm not single-minded. Another man has blinded my view. How can I be sure my feelings are quite pure when I can't choose between them? How can I be when I'm so easily led? Is it just my meekness or can it be my weakness? That I can't resist I must apologize for this awful upset, but you have clear proof now of something that I have known for the past three days. The extraordinary performance that you have witnessed is due to the fact that Miss Tuella is not a woman, but a mermaid. Mermaid, show your tail. Things extremely fishy to me. Oh! I think you and I had better walk home. Well, what's the matter? Nothing. Why? For a moment, you seem to be like you were before your accident. I'll never be like that again. 